Alright guys, sorry that this <laughs> video is going up so late. I gotta make this video quick because I need to upload this. Um, I did just start the new series on the channel I've been speaking of. The, um, the, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! model character deck profiles where I'm gonna be doing, like, model, like, I'm gonna be kind of, like, kind of, like, modeling character decks after the actual character decks that I made in the anime. Um, I kind of, like, make my own version of it, almost modeling a deck after it, how the deck will play, and stuff like that. But, <laughs> it says it's gonna take two hours to upload, so, I don't think that's gonna be uploaded today, so, so my apologies, ladies and gentlemen, but we're gonna be here for a good old Mass Pikachu Talks. I haven't done one of these in a minute. So, today, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna talk about letting other people's crap get to you. So, once again, I'm sorry for, uh, I was really planning to upload that on Sunday, but I kinda upload that tomorrow. That's gonna be a punked up when I get in, but, from school, but, and then tomorrow's a solar eclipse, so maybe I don't have to go to school. Maybe. But probably have to anyways, I got my school clothes, whatever. So, anyways, um, let other people's crap get to. When I, when I say that, when other people in life, like, I notice a lot, I, I notice a lot, like, in, like, a lot of people's different lives, where a lot of people go wrong, they let other people's problems. People say, I have a lot of problems, and stuff like that. But really, these problems that these people have spout off from not even their own individual problems, but the problems that other people have or created for them. Not something I see a lot that they created intentionally, that's a whole nother thing. That's something that you have to deal with. But if it's a completely different situation and that person has nothing to do with you, even if it's family, I don't understand all you have to do is support. All you really can do is support your family in, in, in any way that you can. That's different. But when you have like, when you say, I have a problem, is it really your problem when it's, I mean, if it's somebody close to you, I can understand that, but if it's their problem that they're causing themselves, you guys, don't let you guys, don't let you, don't let yourselves get stressed out by the, you know, don't let you guys get stressed out by outside influences, and I would, they would go to a church, um, I, I can't really remember the reverend's name right now, but he was a great, he was a great pastor, Reverend Wells, yeah, I think that was it. He was a great pastor, and he talked. One of the um, subjects he talked about was um, uh, one of the subjects that he talked about was actually letting other influences get to you. Which I don't believe in that. Like, the like the thing about me is I'm a very truthful, factual person. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna start preaching. Okay, I'm gonna start preaching for you. All right. So. If you legitimately have a relationship with somebody where they come to you with their problems all the time, or they come to you with their problems, and they, they, when you go to them for your problems, you don't get anything in life, which I get that a lot. So, when you finally have a problem, and you're dealing with other people's problems, like freaking Dr. Phil in sorts of ways, and when you finally go to somebody else for support, they can't support you, but they always go to you for support. That's not right. So, and also, if... There's a pros and a cons list to having people around you and having like, you have to have a pros and a cons list basically. If the cons list is so much higher than that, like like just liking them, having them around, if they just cause so many problems for themselves and they just bring it onto you, that's not good. That's not good at all. You don't want people like that around you because they're just gonna cause unnecessary problems for you that you don't have to be dragged into. And people that do that. They might even care about who, what you're going through. Cause that's not right. You can't. Uh, I do. I can't unless it's my immediate family. And but if I cause a problem myself, I'm gonna solve it. It only makes sense if I make this error on this video. I'm not gonna go ask my mom to help me make uh, make this right. I'm gonna ask myself to make this right. It only makes sense. And you guys cannot let other people get to you. Like you cannot let other people's problems and other people's situations get to you. It's just it. Put, brings too much stress on you, and people have problems all the time. You have inner conflicts. People have other people have inner conflicts. All you can do is support them in the way that you know how. I'm just a very straightforward, simple person. I like very simple things. God dang it, I'm watching this simple series right now. You give freaking GX. I'm a simple man and like simple things. I like black shoes, like over there. I like the black book bag. I swear, I'm not emo. I like Captain America. I like freaking Dragon Ball Z. I'm a simple man. I like Spider-Man, for God's sake. Sorry that my bed's not made up. I'm a simple man. Look at that. 
Can we just say how unmade the bed is right now? Look at look at that back there. I just washed my. And that really makes me mad because I just cleaned my room today. I'm gonna go clean that after this video is finished, though. Sorry, the bed's not made up. I know. You're... Sorry, I, I, I'm. I'm kind of running all late on time uh, because uh, it's like 10 o'clock right now. I kind of need to get this video out soon. But anyways, don't let other people's crap get to you guys. Like, seriously, I cannot express that enough. Like, people in life are going to have problems. There's going to be problems everywhere. And if you know a lot of people, there's going to be there's gonna be problems every day, all right? And what I see out of life, there is good, like... There's only gonna be some times where you're truly happy. And there's only gonna be there's gonna be a lot of times where you're just fine or you feel, feel like complete crap. All right, it's just how life is. To be honest, this is how it is. And how like oh, some stupid little kid is t talking about this. I, I'm an observer of life. Okay, I've seen a lot of different people what they've done, and how they lived their lives, and how their downfall or how they got messed up in some sort of way. And a lot of times, you know, they did stuff on their part, and and a lot of times I see that they get themselves caught up in a problem with something that's so much bigger than them, and it's not even their problem. Like, you can help with stuff. I'm not saying don't help with anybody, don't help anybody at all, but when you know people, and they're just causing so many problems, you don't let that crap get to you. Even if it's like a family member, you, need, you love them, just try to help them. You don't let that get you stressed. Like... I know that'll probably get you stressed and all. I understand. I go through family issues myself. Everybody goes through issues. Everybody goes through problems. But when it comes to outside interferences, you have to learn how to deal with stress. Dealing with stress and dealing with outside interferences in life is very, very keen for uh, living a healthy life. And another thing, it's kind of like a triangle. Outside interferences, you can't let that stress you out to a certain point where you cannot function. When Something, something else outside interference comes and messes with your stuff, you can't just fall apart like a house of cards. Next, inner health, inner love. You need to love yourself for who you are. You need to love and accept that this is who you are. And if you want to be this, strive to be this with all your heart because that's who you want to be. And then that's become who you are. You have to accept, this is who I am. This is who I am now. And I kind of forgot about the third one. I'll be right back. And another one is you have to, to learn how to deal with problems. Problem solving is a big, I don't know if this is one I said before. I'm sorry about that, but I kind of forgot. Problem solving is a big, big part of life. You have to learn how not to get stressed out about things, like anything, even own turmoil. You have to learn how, to, like, if you don't understand this yet, you have to learn how to adapt to solving problems because like seriously problem solving is one big thing you can't just fall apart and if it's inner you can't fall apart you just can't depend on other people either like sometimes you can sometimes you can't and when it comes to like family and stuff like that i don't really get I, I get stressed out but i don't get stressed out to the point where i'm flabbergasted i cannot think i i know some people have different ways of dealing with stuff some type of stuff like that me i had a good little video i played some dang Yu Gi Oh. this is this is uh I may have just shown you guys the first character deck, but whatever, that'll be up a little tomorrow. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not the type of person, uh, oh, wait, I just thought about that. I had to freaking, ugh, I had to redo that entire description. Uh, I'm gonna hate myself tomorrow. But anyways, um, you, you guys just had to learn how to deal with, with outside, inside, and problem solving. That's really what you have to learn. And dealing with stress also goes with the problem solving. All that goes into life. Because you cannot, and I mean you cannot just fall apart from anything. Like, I'm not trying to be some wisdom freaking, some prophet. But as my experience in life, I, like, I, like, like for example here. I had three tests this week. And it's the first week of school. I did not fall apart. I did not fall apart. I did not um, slop. I was kind of slopping my YouTube work. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of slopping my artwork. I usually do a lot of art when I'm in school. I haven't had the time. But was I freaking out about it? No. Did I get what I needed to get done? Yes. The tests were very easy. I know I always got 100 on two tests. The math test, I'm like 80 or above. I know it for a fact. 
even though it's the first week, it's gonna get harder. Even last year, I've had four tests in one week. That's how high school's gonna be. That's how life is gonna be. Test to me every single day. I don't care. I will not fall apart. Because I am a strong individual. I know I am. Because what I did, I came in, I edited some of my videos, I uploaded sometimes, I got right to work, and I went to sleep. That's what I did every day. It's it's mind numbing, but I need I did what I need to get done. Did I fall apart? Did I get flabbergasted? No. Did I get mad? No, because that's just how life is. I may have got mad once or twice, but in the process of being being mad, I just didn't put down all my crap and say I'm done with this. I came back to it. I I'm gonna still keep doing it because this is what I need to do to live. This is my future in the making. So I just can't give up. So the moral of the story, the moral of everything, don't let stress break you down. Don't let stress overwhelm you. Don't let the darkness just completely consume you to the point where you can't even think. Like, I have never gotten so mad in my life. Where I, I, I've gotten mad so sometimes in my life where I can't think. But there's, but even like, like I, I remember a couple weeks ago, I got so mad. I was crying mad. But at that point, I was still thinking. I was still, I was still intelligent. You know, I, like, I rarely ever cry. I rarely ever get mad to the point, and I'm growing up, I rarely ever get so mad to the point I just, my brain shuts down. Like, I watch this show, and where people, like, people, like, like when people cheat on each other, you know what? You know what happens when people cheat on each other, like, relationship-wise? You know when people do bad things to people? You know when people kill people and stuff like that? You know what's not going on in their head? Thinking. They're just... Their body is just moving. They're not thinking about the consequences and the actions that we'll see in the future. One thing I'm happy I get from my mom. My mom is a very intelligent person. I love her. She she thinks about everything. She thinks she's a, she's a freaking nomad. Okay. She thinks about what's gonna happen, how this is gonna happen, what what this is gonna happen, what this is gonna do. I think like that. I think of three reasons why this should work or three reasons this shouldn't work. I balance the, the, the scales and stuff like that. I'm not a perfect human being by any amount. I'm stupid. I'm arrogant. I'm very uh, funny. <coughs> no, that was a lie. Um, I'm a liar, apparently, now. Um, <laughs> but, I, I, yeah, I'm kind of stupid. I, and sometimes I'm not a huge perfect human being. But one thing I do know about myself is I know how to deal with stress. I know how to deal with things in a reasonable way, in a reasonable manner. I don't freak out. I don't fall apart. And you just, I don't have a tendency to do that. So, I, I, I just really pray for you guys that don't let things overwhelm you to the point where you can't do anything, that you feel helpless, because you're never helpless. Well, actually, you're helpless in some situations, but there's always something to be done. There's always something to be done. And when you tell me, oh, what, oh, what if I have a gun pointed to my head? You can still think. As long as you can still think, there's something to be done. So, I'm sorry this is going up so late once again. I just really wanted to get this video out because I just... I see a lot of people in life, the mistakes that they make is they're not thinking. They're not thinking about long term. They're only thinking about... So, I, I, I don't know. I, you can call me soulless. You can call me boneless. I don't care. Uh, oh, God, that was a bad burp. You can call me boneless. You can call me soulless. You can call me Sally for all I care, all right? But when I look at it, if I'm doing something right now, if I'm like hiding something or doing something bad in my early ages of my life, if I'm like doing like setting myself up for failure or if I'm like joining a gang or whatever, and some people think in the moment, I do a combination of both. I think in the mo TV. Okay. I think in the moment, I think long term. You need to think long term. You really think they need to think long term because thinking in the moment all the time will only get you so far. When thinking long term, you can dodge certain obstacles and sorrows in life. And doing that and spreading that to other people, the people around you will also get that as well. So, what I'm saying is, and also, that goes along with dealing with stress. Because once you start dealing with your stress in the point where you like, you can bend it, you can mold it to where it won't affect you anymore. 
and you can think about what's coming up and you can think. When you can think, you can move around certain obstacles in life. Sometimes you do need to run into something to grow and become better, which that's just life. But when it's something unnecessary and the, the pro, the cons outweigh the pros. And sometimes, hey, something you're going to run into can become a blessing in disguise. I, can, I have had so many of those. I understand that. But all I'm saying is learn how to deal with life and learn how to exercise dealing with stress. Because 95% of life is going to be stress in one way or another, how you look at it. So, this has been Preachy Master Pikachu or Master Pikachu Talks. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Master Pikachu Talks once again. Hopefully, next episode should be uploaded this week or next week. Who knows? But I'll see you guys' beautiful faces later. Bye. Bye, my mini Pikachus.